Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today we'll be about explaining the two techniques shift and double shift for runestone carving puzzles. Before starting, I do want to give a quick side note. Sometime after the release of New Hollow Woods, Star Stable had a hotfix in which they drastically decreased the spawn rate of these runestone carving puzzles. And even though they somewhat fixed it, the puzzles can sometimes still become more and more difficult to find, depending on how many you've done and how long you've been searching for them. But worry not, a simple restart of the game should fix this issue again. Starting off with shift, we have multiple grids to choose from. The 3x3, 4x4 and the 5x5 grid. For these examples, I'll be going to briefly explain all, but we'll be focusing mostly on the 3x3 grids to make it easier to understand. Once you have clicked the 3x3 grid and shift, you get a total of 9 circular boxes, some of which are coloured. These 9 boxes can be divided into 3 columns. For my first example, I will be using left shift, therefore the columns will be vertical. In one column are three boxes, again some of which are coloured. I will number the columns from left to right, as you can see. Now we slide the columns to the indicated side, in this case, left. As you can see, column 2 has taken over the place of column 1, 3 has taken over the place of 2, and 1 has taken over the place of 3. You have now shifted all the columns once to the left. You can do exactly the same thing when needing to shift to right. When indicated that you need to shift one up or down, the columns you create become horizontal. Each column will again have a certain amount of coloured boxes, and again you slide those columns or rows once to the indicated side. Counting from below, Column 3 has taken column 1 its place, 1 has taken the place of column 2, and 2 has taken the place of 3. The same strategy can be used for grids 4x4 and 5x5. Divide the amount of boxes into columns and slide them once to the indicated side. I will show some examples, you can pause if you need to. Moving on to double shift, which I will just briefly explain since it's mostly the same as shift and therefore we've already gone over the main strategy to use. However, instead of sliding the columns once to the indicated side, we now have to double it as the name says. We now slide them twice to the left in my example and again I use a 3x3 grid to explain. So divide the boxes into columns and shift them twice left. Now, as you can see, column 1 has taken the place of 2, 2 has taken the place of 3, and 3 has taken the place of 1. The columns have shifted two times to the indicated side. When shifting up, down, 
all right, the same strategy is used again. It's, it's really just a matter of whether you divide the boxes horizontally or vertically. And again, for the grids 4x4 and 5x5, you divide all the boxes into columns and number them as previously, then slide them two columns to the indicated side. I will show some examples as well, and you can pause if necessary. This video took a little longer than expected, but I hope this strategy helps you out a little nonetheless for these specific rune carving techniques. If you want an easy route to follow for runestone puzzle locations, I'll leave the link to that video down in the description below. Hope you enjoyed and till next time.